Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing another recent Kawaii Purchases Collective Haul video. Um, so these are items that I've purchased in the past couple of months. So from Shein, H&M, Arden, Temu, Timu, Miniso, all different types of places. And the one thing they have in common is that they're really coquette and or super duper cute. So if you guys would like to see any of these super cute items in more detail, then please keep on watching. All right, so I guess we'll start from left to right as I'm a lefty. So the first item I purchased recently was this Bior uh, face wash. It's actually a makeup remover and facial wash. If you watch my channel regularly, you'll know that I've been on the non-stop hunt for a makeup remover slash facial wash uh, that works well as the one that I used for like 10 years got recently discontinued and it's been quite the journey, but honestly, this stuff is super promising. I really, really like it. And it just sucks that the only place that I find you can get it uh, is Umomo, which is where I got this from. It was about $16.95. And yeah, I just really wish it was easier to find because I don't live that close to Umomo. Um, so yeah, I wish it was more accessible, but I will say I absolutely love this. And the packaging is super duper cute too. I might do a full length review on this stuff because so far I'm absolutely loving it. Next up, we have these adorable little handmade plushies that I bought from a local artisan. Um, they didn't have a business card, unfortunately, so I don't remember the name of the artist, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, it was like this mother and daughter, like basically the mom makes all of them and the daughter just helps her sell them. Look how absolutely adorable this cat is and the little bow is so cute. And there's the back. I just love how the mouth is like these little pom-poms. <laughs> So adorable. And also this like My Melody inspired one with a strawberry purse. I bought this because the face kind of reminded me of Nanalan, <laughs> which me and my bestie are obsessed with Nanalan because it's like so incredibly derpy. Or I mean her name is Mona, but yeah. <laughs> Next up, I got this super adorable coquette t-shirt from Arden. It's in the size small, and I bought it because I absolutely loved this lace trim, and also the little rosette that it has here. So, so, so coquette. I find I've been loving coquette things all my life, but in terms of like the official coquette aesthetic, it's been a thing since about 2021, and I feel like local stores like Arden and Urban Planet and all those mall stores are finally, finally catching on that it's a thing, and I'm loving it personally. The more coquette, the better, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, I absolutely love this top. And recently, I ordered from Temu or Timu, however you say it, uh, for the first time ever, and now I am absolutely hooked. It is very, very dangerous, so please watch out before you ever order anything from there. It is super, super addictive. I definitely have to have self-control because everything is so incredibly affordable and super duper cute. So I just got this little ribbed soft tank top with this gorgeous, gorgeous lace detail and this cream colored ribbon. The ribbon is extra long. I might actually cut it because it's like actually kind of ridiculous how long it is. <laughs> but yeah, I got mine in the size medium and it is a little bit too big because this material has so much stretch and give. So I would recommend going down a size if you're gonna get this. It was super inexpensive. I think like probably under $10, maybe like seven bucks or something. Oh, and the first top I showed was also under $10, I believe, while it was on sale. Also from Temu, I got these adorable coquette scrunchies with little pink ribbons all around. I actually saw this in Sukoshi Mart, but then I was like, I feel like it'll be cheaper on Temu, and of course it was. <laughs> I also got it in the dusty rose color with the cream ribbons. So these are super coquette and pink Pilates princess, and I love wearing my hair up. I actually have my hair up in a messy bun pretty much every single day, so I love scrunchies. And here's just another scrunchie that I got that has this beautiful lace trim on it and a little gingham bow. Super duper cheap. All of these were like probably under $2, maybe even less than a dollar. Next up, I got this super Lolita coquette sexy little leg garter. Um, so it's actually supposed to be worn on your thigh as a leg garter, um, but I 
purchased this as part of a little costume that I'll be doing with my dear friend Jen. We're going to be cosplaying My Melody and Karomi together, so I'm so excited. Um, and she got a choker for hers as well, so I thought I'd get a choker too. Um, but unfortunately, because it was a leg garter, there wasn't any like... Um, it was like attached like this and it was like I cannot fit this over my head obviously so I had to actually get scissors and cut it uh, to make it into like a neck choker and I'll probably just get like velcro or something or maybe like a button let me know in the comments down below guys what would be the best method to make this detachable um, or like fastenable I guess uh, but yeah it's gonna be super 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 cute with my costume also, as part of the My Melody cosplay, I got these super cute and sexy uh, lace uh, thigh-high sheer white stockings. They are very, very, very thin, so I am a bit afraid to wear them out, but at least for our little photo shoot, I'll definitely be wearing these. The top has like this beautiful scalloped lace doily, and then there's just these satin pink ribbons. I absolutely love these. They are so, so, so cute. And the next top that I got also from Timu is this one right here. Um, it has these adorable little ribbons on the straps and then there's also this sleeve. I don't know if you're supposed to wear it off the shoulder or on the shoulder. It's pretty versatile. It's whatever you wish. I got mine the size medium. However, I am pretty large chested so the chest area is a little bit tight for me unfortunately. Um, but I love the little rosette and um, just how it has this sort of like very coquette Brandy Melville inspired fabric and yeah it's a bit odd fitting I'm not gonna lie this one um, so I'm not sure if I'll end up wearing this one with my cosplay for my melody but yeah <laughs> overall it's a super cute top it's just a shame that it fits a little bit weird and it has a lettuce edged detail all of these clothing I'm actually gonna probably do a proper try on haul with them as well. So I'm just showing you them for now, but I'll do like a proper try on haul to show you how they look on as well if you guys want. One of my absolute favorite things I got from Timu is actually this adorable skirt. Look how Lolita and just absolutely angelic and gorgeous this is. It's got this really smooth, cool to the touch fabric with this tiered lace. Um, and it's just so substantial and really, really, really pretty. Uh, I got this on sale for only 10 bucks, and the inside has undershorts as well. It just doesn't get any better than this, guys. And it's so stretchy and comfortable. Like, I'm just in love with this. It looks like it would be really delicate and uncomfortable, but it's actually super comfortable. And of course, what would a My Melody cosplay slash my melody inspired outfit be without my melody ears so i got these from timu as well it's just this little my melody ear headband with the ears they're super soft and plushy i was actually so surprised at how good the quality is because this was like literally four dollars guys and then the ribbon is this beautiful pink ribbon here and there's just a second larger bow and yeah i just absolutely love this i cannot wait to do our photo shoot together also from Timu, I got this little um, Miko Illustrations inspired, or at least knockoff, um, little uh, photo album thing. I believe it's for people who collect photo cards from K-pop albums. I have some K-pop albums, but I'm not like a hardcore K-pop stan or anything like that. I think if I was younger, I definitely would be, but I'm a little bit too old for that kind of thing now. Um, I'm probably going to use mine for like my Instax Polaroid photos or I have a mini photo printer that I might use this for but I just thought it was so 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 absolutely adorable and there's even like a little pocket in the front for you to stick a photo into. I'll show you what one looks like. So here's just a super old selfie of me that I'm just going to show you. So you would just stick it in the sleeve here. Yeah, as you can see. <laughs> So cute, right? I absolutely love this. And the last thing I got from Timu is this adorable fabric bow bag. It's kind of like a little hobo bag or like sling bag. I realized as a bag girly, I actually don't really have anything like this in my collection. And it was only like seven or eight dollars. So I was like, ah, might as well get one. And I see a lot of people wearing them in Toronto and I just think they're super effortlessly cute and artsy. And yeah, so it just slings over the shoulder and the inside is lined with pink. And unfortunately there isn't a gusset, which makes me kind of 
want to return it because you know me I don't like when a bag is too narrow because then it doesn't fit a lot um, but yeah it was so inexpensive I don't even want to bother with it honestly <laughs> and I just love the little bows on it it's just so freaking cute next up from H&M I got a very similar top to the one that I showed from Timu at the beginning the pink one so I got this in a size small um, and it just has this adorable black ribbon on it and it's so 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 cute the only thing is that it is pretty freaking see-through as was the other one um, so that's just something to keep in mind all right and lastly I just have some Miko illustrations finds that I found from Miniso so I've been saying for months and months now that I absolutely love Miko illustrations and I've been dying for them to have more Miko illustration stuff at my local Miniso as soon as I saw that they were doing a collab with Miniso like months ago I've been religiously looking for them to stock it and finally 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 the stuff is starting to pop up so I'm just going to show you some of the things that I got. I absolutely love getting purse essentials from Miniso. So the first one I got here is this little spoon and fork set. You all know that I absolutely love a good bento box or like lunch set because um, it's just so good and sustainable to carry your own utensils around and it keeps it clean because it's in this nice packaging and yeah it's just super cute. I love this one. I also found this adorable little nail kit. Uh, there is a smaller one that I actually have in my purse right now, but it basically looks just the same as this. And it's just two nail clippers, which are really great for keeping in your purse to cut tags or hang nails or anything that you really need like mini scissors for. And once again, as a purse girly, I realize I don't actually have an official nail kit. Um, so I found this one and it just opens up like this and it's got like um, this little picker here, this little scooper thing, uh, tweezers, this other scooper thing, scraper thing, uh, nail file, and also nail clippers as well. And it all just closes up really easily in this little puffy pouch, which is super convenient and adorable. I also found these amazing, amazing mini wet wipes. I don't think anyone on this earth gets as excited as I do about mini wet wipes, but honestly guys, when you are out and about, there's so many instances that you don't realize where you need to just quickly wipe your hands. I know hand sanitizer exists, but sometimes literally you have like, you know, you go to Sephora and you try on a bunch of makeup on your hand or you eat or you spill something or just whatever. There's just so many instances where you desperately need a wet wipe and I can't tell you how nice it is to have ones that are this small, literally the size of my palm, so freaking cute, can fit into any purse or pocket. And the best part is that they are resealable. And also when you take one of the tissues out, another one doesn't start coming out. It actually just like is flat, if you know what I mean. So, so, so slept on. Like these are amazing. I'm probably gonna go and get another pack. And of course it helps that it's Miko Illustrations. Just like so, so, so cute. I've been looking everywhere for these and I'm so glad I finally found them. And yes, it's half empty because I've given some of them to my friends as gifts as well because who couldn't use this? I mean, who wouldn't be happy with this? It's just amazing. And of course, I love me some dry tissues as well. Um, these are just tiny little dry tissue packs that are also Miko illustrations. And there's like several different character designs with this one, which is super, super cute. Alrighty guys, so that is it for this super short and sweet little recent kawaii purchases haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please stay tuned as I will be doing a try on haul of all the cute clothes that I showed in this video very, very soon. So thank you all so very much for watching. Please give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel as it would truly mean the absolute world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I love you. Bye!